Hi traders, you're welcome back once again to the Bullish Bear FX Academy. My name is Tim Lager and I'm super excited having you all here today on this one. So you're welcome back once again to the 2024 slash 2025 trading syllables. Here in this channel, our goal is to teach you a whole lot you need to know and probably everything you need to know about trading from start to finish till you become a professional in this. And the goal is we want to take you guys step by step until we make sure that you are good in the trading industry so what you want to do in case it is your first time here is to hit the subscribe button turn the notification bell on and please as a way to show the support and as a way to show that indeed you appreciate our efforts and what we're doing in this channel make sure to hit the like button and at the cost of the video if you have any question please do not hesitate to drop them on the comment section because based on your question i will understand where you need more explanation and know how to teach you more even in subsequent videos all right so make sure you engage in the comment section so let's get into the main video so back to where we were languages of forest trading so we have lot size stop loss These are forex terminologies. We have take profits. Okay. We also have what we call beat. We have what ask. We have what we call spread. SP spread. We have what we call break even. We have what we call indicator. So there's something I forgot to tell you guys about PEEP percentage and price. For instance, we say things like, I want to buy mango of 5,000 US dollars. In the Forex market, you don't call the name of the currency, you call it PIP, like how much you make. On the financial market, you say, I, ha I have 100 PIPs or I made 20 PIPs. Okay. So, what is lot size? A particular amount that you are willing to risk against the market okay the amount you're willing to risk against the market is calculated is quoted as lot sizes okay by the time we start studying more about lot size you know the diff you will see the different kinds of lot sizes and then how to use the lot sizes to calculate your real amount of money in order for you to know how much you're trading with or how much you're risking okay so instead of you to say i'm risk i want to risk five dollars all right your lot size is what is going to bring out the quotation of how much you really want to risk and it's going to give you the quote the, the quotation in form of pips then from the pips you'll be able to know how much is really worth in dollars you would understand it better when we start treating uh that topic okay. we have the stop loss this is the ability for you to set up an area or a zone where price have to get to and stop taking off losses from your account. And you have take profit, which is a zone where price would have to get to and take your profits off the market for you automatically. Okay. Then we have what we call bid. Bid is the amount that a trader is willing to buy. All right. You have you have GBP against USD. Your bid, like I said earlier, is the amount that a trader is willing to buy. You're willing to buy five pounds. All right. Your, your US dollars is currently 1.02. Let's say 1.02. So you're willing to buy five pounds. You have 1.02, you want to buy pounds. And I tell you, 
if you want to buy pounds, you have to buy pounds from me for 1.03. And you say, no, I have 1.02. And I say, no, I can only sell it for 1.03. You just think about it and you're like, man, what I have in my wallet is not up to 1.03 US dollars. I want to buy it for 1.02. And I said, okay. Let me sell it to you at the rate of 1.02. So the, the amount that you are willing to buy, which is 1.02, you're willing to risk 1.02 to buy, per, you're willing to risk 1.02 per pounds. So this 1.02 is the amount that you're willing to buy per pound for pounds, right? And that is what we call bid, the amount a trader is willing to buy. Why ask is the amount a trader is willing to sell, okay? So you said, no, what I have is $1.02. I said, no, I want $1.03. I can sell one pound for you for $1.02. So the, the amount that I'm willing to accept from you in order to sell my GBP to you, all right, is what we call ask. Okay, bid, B-I-D, okay, B-I-D. All right, so... Spread. Now, spread is a difference between the, the bid and the ask. Okay. For instance, I bought this pounds, this five pounds, I bought it at the rate of, let's say, let me clean every single thing here so we can have a clean chart again. All right. So I bought five pounds. When I bought five pounds, okay, I have five pounds and each of those pounds, I bought one pound at the rate of 1.001 US dollars. Okay, so if I, if the time I wanted to, I, the time I bought GBP, if the time I bought GBP, dollars was currently at 1.001 .001. and i decided that i wanted to buy five pounds so how much did i actually spend how much dollars did i actually spend to buy five pounds times five it means i spent five point zero zero five usd Okay, now I held that pounds till dollar, uh, maybe I held the pounds and dollar increased by price, all right? Maybe something happened in the, in the dollar currency and uh, the gain value, they increased to 1.02, okay? Now, when pound increased, when US dollar increased to this, you came to me and said, hey, I want to buy your five pounds. And I said, huh, okay, if you want to buy my five pounds, I will sell it to you at the rate of 1.1 1 .1 USD for one pound. So remember, this was how much I bought pounds before, all right? So if you agree to sell your US dollar at the rate of $1.1 .1 per one pound, it simply means that you're gonna get my, you're gonna pay me 5.5 USD to get my five pounds. So five, Point five USD that you paid me minus 5.005. That is 0 0.495 USD. This is the profit that I made. So this profit is what we call the spread. That is why I said, 
it is the difference between the bid and the ask. It's a difference between how much the trader is willing to sell and how much the trader is willing to buy. We also talked about uh, break even. So break even simply means your ability to not lose any amount of money, neither did you make any amount of money. How can that really be possible? Maybe for instance, you bought pounds at you bought pounds at 1.1 .1 USD on 1st of February. You held this pounds and held it and held it till 1st of September and you decided that you want to sell it. But everybody in the markets kept on saying, I can only sell my USD for 1.1. I can only sell it for 1.1. Nobody wants to increase price or decrease price. And you ended up saying, man, I just need to travel out of this country right now and I need to change this. So there's no way out. So I have to change it by all means. So you decided to sell it at the same price you bought it. You did not make profits and you didn't make loss. That is break even. This I'm, I'm combining both the physical forex trading and the digital forex trading. So you understand things better. So for the digital forex trading, let's say you sold USD. All right. And this is where you sold from. Price went low. All right. And probably started coming back up. You when you sold, you set you, you, you had set your stop loss here, right? And then when price went low as it went, you decided to put your throw your stop loss from where it was here to exactly where you took your entry. That's what we call break even. So if price goes back up against you and hits your stop loss here, you're not going to be in loss, neither will you be in profit. That's what we call break even. I'll explain again for buy, for the bullish now. You bought it here, you set your stop loss here. All right, price started playing around your entry, play, going close to your stop loss, went back up, came close, then finally went bullish and you said, wow, thank God. And then you throw this stop loss from here. You put it exactly where you, where you bought from, the same line, all right? So while your stop loss is at the same line, price started coming back down and hit that stop loss. You're not going to be in loss. Neither will you be in profits. Why? Because you have set break even. But actually, psychologically nobody wants to see himself not make a little profit when price has gone as up as that so what we actually do is instead of setting your stop loss exactly where you took the entry just put it up a bit so if price hits it probably you leave the market with just few little dollars or maybe little cents okay it's better you take little cent than you took nothing because actually there are some certain markets that sometimes even if your, your stop loss was, was at exactly your entry break even, if price hits it, it's still going to take little cent from you. It happens. And I believe a lot of you should have experienced that. It happens. So it is advisable, even if someone says, set your stop loss at break even, it is advisable, don't set your stop loss at the exact place you took your entry. Take it up a little bit, just a little bit. So if price hits it, Maybe it gives you one or two cents. It is better it gives you a, a blue than it gives you a red or nothing, okay? So take note of that by the time you start your full-time trading. If you're using a, a break-even, don't put it at exactly where you bought or sold from. Take it up a little bit, okay? Now, the last one we have on our list is indicator, which everybody should know. Indicator is on your MT5 right there. So with indicator, it's just a, a constructed thing that we use to calculate what has happened in the past, okay? And, and uh, use it to see what might likely happen in the future. But sometimes these indicators can lag. They can make mistakes. They can be slow, right? Price might likely do what it wants to do before the indicator indicates something. So it is best 
when you learn how to trade without indicators. So in this training, we're not going, we're going to be focusing more on price action. If there's ever going to be a reason for indicator, it's going to come up and uh, you also learn how to use it when the time comes. Okay. All right. So that's what we have for today. Let me give you traders advice. Very, very important. Okay. As a trader, there are things that you must understand when it comes to trading the financial markets. I, I, I even forgot, I didn't talk about your trading tools as a trader, things that you, you ought to have, but there are things you know already, okay? You should know uh, as a trader, you should have MT5, okay? You should uh, have your phone, your laptop, these are your trading tools, okay? These are things that you need to be able to trade the markets, all right? You should also have funds to fund your account to be able to trade against the markets. So let's talk about traders' advice. Now, I know everybody wants to learn how to trade because we want to make money, but we must not fail to understand that in this market, in the race of wanting to make money, you can also lose money. It is very important that you always have that at the back of your mind. You must not come into the market with a get rich quick uh, mindset because if that's what you are here for, you it, it is quite unfortunate if I say that you might not be successful in your trading career, right? If you want to be a successful trader, you must get that out of the back of your mind. Don't come into the trading industry with the mindset of i want to get rich quick i want to make quick money i want to join others and drive lamborghini now is a gradual process forex trading is a gradual process even though you have ten thousand dollars and you load it into your trading uh, account if you are not a disciplined trader, you will still blow it. So you must always understand that if you're coming into this market, it is not a market to be coming to joke. It is serious business. It is your hard-earned money. Therefore, you must not gamble against the market. You must make sure you trade the market with your traders trading wisdom. If Forex was all about gambling. Nobody would want to learn how to trade. Everybody would just want to pump in money there, buy anywhere, sell anywhere. If it enters, yeah. If it doesn't enter, oh. But because it's a business, that is why you spend, you spend money to come and learn it. So now that you are in the academy to learn how to trade it, you must put your head down, get the pride off you, get the get rich quick uh, mindset off you. Just put it far away from you. Don't need it at all, okay? All that you need right now is nothing else but humbleness, discipline, all right? Humbleness and discipline is what you need for you to be able to be successful in your trading career. I don't want to put fear in your mind, but I'll have to tell you nothing else but the truth. Okay, there is no need telling you that, hey, forex is very easy Come on, when I know it's not true. But on the other hand, you must not be afraid because a lot of people are successful in forex. Therefore, you too can be successful. But there is one thing that differentiates those that are successful from those that are unsuccessful. And that is one thing, discipline, indiscipline and discipline. So you have to be a disciplined trader for you to be able to, to be successful. Now, what do I mean by being disciplined? When I say you need to be disciplined, I mean you need to be a trader who sets rules and be strict to his or her rules. Today, I want to buy. Tomorrow, I want to sell. Today, I don't want to do anything. Today, I just want to take this little and leave. Today, if I lose this amount, I'm off and you stick to it, this is you setting a rule and you stick to that rule, be disciplined. 
A lot of traders make money a day and lose it and even lose more than what they made that same day. Why? Because of indiscipline. Number one is greed. They, they thought they could make more money and at the end of the day, they lost it. But it's all, all, it all still boils out to be indisciplined. They were not disciplined because if they were disciplined, they would have said, oh, this little have made today. Wow, let me manage it. All right. NASDAQ is volatility. It is not part of currency pair. It's volatility. All right. So you must be humble and be disciplined in this journey. This is a journey. It's an industry. It's a career. If you learn it, you would, it is to, for your own good. That is why I said everybody should have his or her notebooks so that you don't just learn out of the blow, but you have things you have written in your book so that you can teach people in the nearest future because there are several ways you can make money in this forex industry. You can make money from teaching people. You grab the knowledge, full-time knowledge, and you teach people how to trade and they pay you to, to, for you to teach them. Learning alone is the money. And how much more applying what you've learned into action that is taking trades and being successful in your trade. So traders, I want you all to believe in yourself. Believe in God that you'll be successful. All right? And be disciplined. You're just going to go and decide within yourself, am I ready to learn? If you're ready to learn, then you're welcome to the industry. If you're not ready to learn, I'm sorry, you just end up wasting your money. Okay? So another thing you must understand is as a trader, you don't gamble against the markets. You trade against the markets. When you are trading against the market without a strategy, you are automatically gambling. So you must make sure you have a strategy before you, you trade against the markets. So in the process of our training, you would learn how to trade. You would learn how to develop your own style of trading or strategy of trading. And you learn how to also use it and put it to action. Now, there is this thing that used to be difficult for a lot of traders back then, which is phones to start their trading career. But now we have Forex phones that are coming up and funding traders. So it is now easy. Forex is now getting more interesting and more easier to win because by the time you are able to gain fund of $10,000 to trade against the markets. I don't, I don't see why you should still remain in a nine to five job. But for you to really be successful with the amounts given to you to trade, you have to first of all, mellow down and learn how to trade first, else you can need to blow this money off. So this now, you don't need to stress your mind about how much do I need to start this trading career. There are, there are companies ready to fund you. What you need to do for now is learn how to trade first. Okay? Learn how to trade first. Very, very important. So, guys, very good introduction class. I love it. So, for the main time traders, stay safe. Keep winning. Keep learning and keep making it big time.